What to do, if the optic nerve, is damaged by glaucoma? The optic nerve, also called the second cranial nerve, is a bundle of over 1 million nerve fibers, that provides the link, between the eye and the brain. When we see something, light rays are transmitted to the retina, a structure in the back of the eye. The retina, then takes light energy, and converts it to electrical energy, and transmits nerve impulses, via the optic nerve to the brain, where a visual image is formed. There are several eye disorders, that can cause strain, or damage to occur to the optic nerve, including glaucoma, optic neuritis, tumor compression, ocular injury, optic nerve atrophy, and RP. Glaucoma, is the most well-known eye disorder, that causes optic nerve damage. Glaucoma, often occurs, when there is an increase to the pressure, E inside the eye, intraocular pressure. As pressure inside the eye rises, over time, it damages the optic nerve fibers, leading to impaired vision. It is not fully understood, if the optic nerve damage occurs, because of the mechanical compression, of the nerve fibers from the increased pressure. Or, if the pressure, restricts necessary blood flow, to the optic nerve. As nerve fibers, become damaged, they are unable, to transmit light from the retina to the brain, meaning that, blind spots may begin to occur, in the field of vision. Glaucoma damage, usually initially starts, with loss of peripheral vision. The main causes, for degenerative damage to the optic nerve, are thought to be due to impairment of good blood flow, to deliver nutrients, and remove waste products. And oxidative stress, that causes cell damage, and cell death. Glaucoma specialists, are good at lowering the eye pressure. However, elevated eye pressure, is not the only factor, that can speed up vision loss, in glaucoma patients. People, on eye pressure lowering medicines, continue to lose vision, even though their IOP has been controlled. The best ways, to protect the optic nerve, are to ensure adequate blood flow, to the optic nerve cells, and to limit exposure, to harmful oxidative stress from free radicals. Our strategy, is to let the glaucoma specialists, work on managing the eye pressure, while we focus on the regeneration, maintenance, integrity, and functionality of the optic nerve cells. There are ways, to counteract this. Maintaining a healthy eye pressure, intraocular pressure. The pressure, in the eye, also known as intraocular pressure, is very important, to help support optic nerve health. A healthy eye pressure, leads to a healthy optic nerve. Maintaining optimal blood flow, to the optic nerve. Optimal blood flow, is vital, to maintain a healthy optic nerve. Blood, carries important nutrients and oxygen, which help nourish the optic nerve. AC stim, dilates the blood vessels, and increases blood flow to the retina, brings more oxygen, glucose and nutrients to the eyes and brain which allows the optic nerves to eat, breathe, metabolize, regenerate and detoxify. What's more, AC stim, activates the neuroplasticity. It improves brain's visual capacity, by rewiring and refiring the neurotracks, which is the visual nerve pathways, that go from the retina, to the optic nerve, and then to the brain. It wakes up, the dormant optic nerve cells, and helps the sick and damaged optic nerve cells, grow back to function? At the same time, AC stim, stimulates the facilitation, of detoxing the metabolic waste. Limiting exposure to oxidation, is important for optic nerve health. Oxidative stress, can directly contribute to cell death, such as retinal ganglion cells, which are critical neurons for vision, because these cells, all feed impulses directly to the optic nerve. They can be further compounded, by elevated pressure, inside the eye in people with glaucoma. Stem active, is natural antioxidants, and anti-inflammatory, which optimizes the microenvironment of the retina, and maintains the optic nerve function. Supporting mitochondrial health. Mitochondria, are the powerhouses, of the human cells. They take in nutrients, from blood, 
and create energy-rich molecules for the cell. Healthy mitochondria are essential for a healthy optic nerve. Studies have shown that red light can stimulate the production of new mitochondria, help improve cellular energy metabolism, and overall mitochondrial function. Light therapy can also improve blood flow to the optic nerve, reduce oxidative stress, and promote the survival of retinal ganglion cells. It may have a role in managing glaucoma and restoring optic nerve function.